Hello and welcome to ShowMeAcademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the Zoom feature in Microsoft Excel 2007. Now, first of all, I want to mention briefly that zooming is something that happens visually on your computer monitor. It doesn't happen to the printed page. So even though we're going to zoom things in and out, it's going to make the text bigger or smaller appropriately, it's not going to change the way it, it looks on the printed page. Changing it on the printed page is another tutorial that has to do with when you're going through the print options. But a lot of times you just really need to see something formatted better, uh, bigger or smaller for your eye when you're, view when you're viewing it on screen. And you have a lot of different options here for doing that. First of all, the quickest shorthand method you can start with is to start down here at the zoom bar. This zoom bar is down here in the bottom right hand corner. It's always down here no matter what spreadsheet you're on, no matter what, what worksheet, etc. And of course you're going to start every default spreadsheet uh, that you begin from scratch at 100% zoom. But the quickest and easiest way to change that zoom is to manipulate the zoom in or zoom out buttons or just the plus and minus buttons as they look to your eye. When I hit the plus button or zoom in, you'll notice that everything starts to get larger. It starts to zoom the text in, and you can see it's showing me the percentage zoom that it's at every time I change this. So right now we're at 140%, now we're at 150%, 160%, etc. Of course, we can reverse that process simply by going over here and clicking on the zoom out button or the minus button. <clears throat> when I click that, it takes me back down to 150%, 140%, 130%, etc. If you want to be a little bit more fluid about how you're changing that zoom, you can just grab this slider. You can click on it and drag it to the right or the left. As I click and drag to the right, you can see it gets much, much bigger. As I click and drag to the left, it starts to get much, much smaller. And I'll take this back here now. Well, I'll leave it there for the moment. And if you want to get some more details about what you can do with the zoom, you can actually click on the zoom level itself. Here it'll show you that the zoom level is 55%. And if I click on this, <clears throat> it's going to open up my zoom window. And the zoom window will have a couple of convenient options. First of all, it'll allow me to quickly go from one to uh, any number of other uh, stock, if you will, zoom uh, magnifications. Like if we want to go back to 100%, I can do that. I wanted to go quickly to 200%. I could do that. I could also go to a custom percent. So if I wanted to go to 133%, I could do that. And finally, if I've selected a group of cells here, say I've selected just these cells, I can click on this and I can choose to fit selection. In other words, it's going to take the cells I've selected and it's going to zoom them in or out to best fit within the current screen. So if I click OK, now you can see it makes them bigger and makes them bigger to the point where it, can, it, it would no longer be able to fit them all on the screen if it were to make them any bigger. In this case, it happens to be at 194%. The other way to do this is to go to your View tab up here. And from your view, view tab, you'll have a zoom section. <clears throat> the zoom section has three buttons. The first one is zoom. And clicking the zoom button there should bring up a, a fairly familiar window now because it's the same window that we came to when we clicked directly on the zoom selection down here. So you see you can always get to that immediately by clicking on this. Or you can click on the view tab and go to the zoom button. It will bring you to the same place. If you wanted to very quickly get back to 100%, this is just a quick button that always gets you right back to 100%. And this is that same zoom to selection feature that we saw before. So it will take whatever cells you've selected and zoom them out so that they best fill up the, the given screen that you're looking at. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you for using ShowMeAcademy.com.